Welcome to this piano and keys tutorial for the song Left It In The Water by We The Kingdom. It's in the key of A at 77 beats per minute. I'm going to concentrate primarily on the piano part, which interestingly enough doesn't start till the uh, second chorus of the song. But I will also show you some of the uh, synthesizer and other parts that you have the option of putting under your piano if you desire. The original introduction to the song is quite long and there's 12 bars of nothing but uh, various synthesizers. Starts here, pitched up an octave. I put it under this E and pitched it up five half steps. And then this sound is added in. As the intro proceeds, you get some other synth sounds. And I think he's just kind of improvising this. It's unlikely that you're going to do the full introduction and it'll probably start halfway through when the guitars come in, which is more than likely what your worship team will also play. When the electric guitars make their entrance in the intro, the synth bass also comes in at that point in the time and its pattern is this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then there's also what they on the tracks call a horn part, but it's really another synthesizer. You hear it, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it jumps the beat a little bit. And then there's this 16th note arpeggiated synthesizer. So that's all going on. And then just before the intro ends, the uh, other synthesizer is doing that improvised riff. You can do something like that or whatever you want to do. So for the first verse, while the electric guitars are doing their scratch rhythm, the synth bass is playing this. Two, three, four. Second half of the first verse. Bonded me with your light, you took me in. Then a stop. Dead men come alive and into the chorus. So the synth bass on the chorus sounds like this. On the post-chorus, the synth bass goes back to straight 16th notes. Then there's a stop when it changes to the D chord. And then the upper synth plays this pattern. And all together, On the turnaround, you have that uh, repeat of the chorus bass line. You've got that horn part and the 16th note synths. So that's all playing together. And then you've got this, another synth doing this. And then putting that all together. On verse two, uh, there's just the synth bass playing in the 16th note arpeggio, and it has a little stop in it, and then it goes to a slightly different pattern. So we've got verse two. Took me in. And 
into the chorus where the piano joins, and we'll show you the piano parts. Let's listen to the piano part on the chorus, the second chorus, where it comes in, and the post-chorus, where it's slightly different. And then it goes into the bridge, where it's kind of a duet between the piano and the electric bass. So for the piano and the chorus, let's look at the right hand first and slow it down a little bit so you can see the notes. You've got this grace note going into this A chord. And playing it a little more up to tempo. Again, the post-chorus is equally syncopated, and let's start out slow so you can get the gist of it. A little more up to tempo. And into the bridge, which is like a solo. So, the synth parts under all of that I've moved them up an octave to here. You hear that bass, the da 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 And the 16 notes there. And when we add the piano on top of it, The synthesizers on the uh, post chorus we have this. Notice I've again moved those things up an octave. And quickly into the interlude solo. The piano part on the interlude is repeated throughout the bridge. As I said before, coming off the post course, we want to get very quickly back down to this position so it can start. So we were up on that D. We're going to make a quick jump to here. Those are the fingerings. When the vocals come in for the bridge, an organ is added uh, to the sound, and it's playing that that pattern. That those notes, but they're added down here. So on the second half of the bridge, that synth bass is added in. High organ on top of those chords. And then if we try to play it up the tempo, one, two, covered all the essential parts of the song 
and the song ends with an instrumental which is nothing more than electric guitar solo over the chorus and then uh, the chorus comes back in with uh, vocals and some organ parts are added and then we have the post chorus which is again uh, everything's the same and then we have the outro which uses the chord so uh, starting uh, with the uh, instrumental we've got that So we've got the instrumental, the chorus, and then the post-chorus. And then the outro. The outro follows the chorus, chords, and again we've added back that horn section. cut off. This is a fun song. I don't know how many congregations will attempt it. It's sort of old 70s rock and roll, southern rock. Uh, but anyway, it's a lot of fun to play. I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful in trying to learn the piano parts and some of the synthesizer things if you want to add them. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you, if you liked the video and found it helpful, hit the like button and hit ring the bell to subscribe to get notified for future videos. Thank you very much for watching.